My name is Eileen Noonan and I'm a senior trainer at PFH Training. Today I would like to talk to you about some of the key benefits in deploying Microsoft System Center Manager 2007 or SCCM and how training with us will help you with that deployment. What kind of functionality do I have with SCCM and how can it help me assess, manage and deploy my IT assets? With SCCM I can plan, manage and deploy any number of sites and clients. I can decide on how I manage my software distribution, deploy operating systems and manage software updates. And I can use remote and mobile tools to manage all of this. You know, I talk to a lot of customers and one of the problems they have is patch management. So many updates are sent out nowadays to companies from organizations like Microsoft. How do you deploy these patches to all of your clients? SCCM has improved the patch deployment experience by using deployment templates. This allows you to create a deployment standard and unlike ITMU from SMS 2003, you only have to do these steps once. Then each month you can reuse the template. Using SCCM you can control how and when patches are sent to your desktops and servers. Patch management can be done in three easy steps. If we go to software updates, you create a new search folder for a specific year or month, create a deployment template, creating a patch list and deploying your software updates. Now even though I've powered on one machine, we can remotely select several machines or even hundreds of machines and power them on simultaneously. So for example, if a customer wanted to ensure that all machines are on to deploy a critical security patch, Often systems need to have some diagnostics performed and it can be part of Windows that we can't get to it if we need to do some diagnostics on it. But now with SCCM we can actually connect remotely to this device and perform diagnostics on it. So let's see how that would work. Go to collections and right click on the machine you need to run diagnostics on. Once you have your supporting structure in place for System Center Configuration Manager, the process for deploying the 2007 Office system involves creating and defining five primary areas – collections, packages, distribution points, programs and advertisements. In our training course, we'll examine the benefits of each one of these features and how you can make your life easier by using them through SCCM. If you need to deploy an operating system silently to hundreds of desktops, you can integrate MDD 2010 and WAKE with SCCM 2007. And there you go. You have a complete OS deployment system. We will show you how to do that. Operating system deployment allows you to create operating system images and deploy those images to target computers. Operating system deployment also provides task sequences which help facilitate the deployment of operating system images and other Configuration Manager 2007 software packages. Operating system deployment provides the Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager 2007 administrator with a tool for creating images that can be deployed to computers managed by Configuration Manager 2007 and to unmanaged computers using bootable media such as CD or DVD. The image in a Windows imaging format, WIM, format file contains the desired version of a Microsoft Windows operating system and can also include any line of business applications that need to be installed on the computer. Operating system deployment provides the following functionality. Operating system image capture, user state migration, operating system image deployment and task sequence. It's a single click, it's simple and it's deployed. These are just some of the highlights of the key benefits of SCCM and what we will cover in our training courses. There's lots more you can do with SCCM. To learn more about SCCM training with PFH, call our training department now.